seconds. All right. Hi, I'm Jim Cunningham. I'm here with Kyle Habel from Emerson, and I know what this is. Kyle, this is a drone. That's right. At Emerson, we're always looking for ways to solve new technology with uh, automation controllers, and the drone is a perfect example of that. Interesting. So tell us what we actually have right here. So we have a drone demo with, behind you, the CPL-410, our latest line in industrial controllers. And it's, it's showing off the capabilities to run both uh, traditional programming languages for PLCs, ladder logic, structured text, function blocks, and uh, non-traditional uh, programming languages for things like drones. So this example is using JavaScript. Huh. And more and more industrial applications for drones, right? Yeah, correct. They, uh, they see a lot of safety value from drones. It's a lot cheaper than building scaffolding to inspect the towers and uh, tank farms and tall structures. So they fly a drone around, take pictures, make reports. All this is done manually currently though. Uh, this is pretty cool. So what's different about what we're seeing here? So what we've done is we've combined it with a controller and we have a HMI, our quick panel, uh, that controls the drone through an automated route or mission. And that is different than manually hiring a company to fly a drone around. So you can set some set points on uh, any type of I.O. that's coming into the controller and trigger the drone to go fly a pre-programmed route to go inspect the location, take pictures without sending somebody out in the field. Wow. Uh, give me an example then of how, how this could be used. Yeah, so just the other day uh, we had a customer interested in inspecting an incinerator at a carbon fiber manufacturing plant. So they have an incinerator about 200 yards away from the operations in the main manufacturing facility. And it's got some nasty chemicals that, that they don't like to go around it or be near it if, if uh, necessary. So they have some flow and pressure and temperature sensors that go off occasionally. They have to send somebody out to go inspect it to see if it's a real problem. In this case, we can save the, two, the, the 400 yard round trip for the operator to go out and inspect it, keep them away from the dangerous um, gases and send a drone out, take pictures, see if they really need to go out and inspect it. So it's not just a cool drone we're looking at here, but it's the ability to solve tough automation problems with systems like this 410 controller, right? Exactly, I mentioned earlier some of the languages supported, but that's kind of the beauty of the 410 is it supports a whole host of languages, ultimately any language you could imagine. So, like I said, the traditional control languages that most of our customers are familiar with, but also the newer languages like Ruby, Java, JavaScript, Go, Python, all these newer languages that are more in the IT field that are kind of coming into the control space. I'm going to launch this thing one more time, but I know people are going to want to find out more about this. Where can they do that? Check out emerson.com to find more. Fly, little drone. Be free. Pretty cool stuff.